What's up guys, Technoba here for Server Pro and welcome to this tutorial for installing and using Luma. Luma is a super simple plugin that users with permission can use to create maps of images off the internet, including animated GIFs. To install a plugin, head over to the plugin section. Select the bucket tab and search for Luma. Install a version that's compatible with your server and restart. Alternatively, you could download it from the bucket page and upload it to your Server Pro panel. After installing the plugin, minimal config is required. All you need is op, or you need the permissions to use the plugin's commands. Assuming you can use the commands, we can use slash lu to bring up a command reference. We can use slash lu create name dimensions URL to import an image off the web into our game. I'll use the example provided on the plugin's bucket page. Slash lu create nyan 3x1 meaning 3 blocks wide, 1 block high, followed by the link. After the image loads, we see that we can use slash lu print nyan to print the image into maps in our inventory. But before we do that, we can use slash lu list to list all available images as well as slash lu update followed by a name and URL to change existing maps to show a new image. This lets you change or refresh the image, but you can't change the dimensions, so you need to create a new one for that. I'll run the print command slash lu print nyan. I'll give myself some item frames as well and I'll put them up on the walls. The example that I used is a GIF, meaning that it's animated. You can see it's moving around on the wall. Of course, you can use static images as well that don't move. We can use slash lu set hyphen speed followed by a name and ticks to set the number of server ticks per frame. The lower the tick number, the faster the image will change in the animation. If we use slash lu set speed, we can see some info on timing. I'll change it to one tick and there we go. We then have slash lu info, which gives us info on what we're looking at and we can use slash lu stats to get some info from the server. The last section is click actions. We can set them with slash lu action followed by type and data. And if we run slash lu action, we get some more info. So I'll use slash lu action message hello while looking at this on the wall. Now whenever I right click the image I was looking at, it says hello in chat. Of course, the other ones don't have this effect because they don't have an action on them. We can also get it to run commands, but remember that these commands will be run with the user's permissions. At this point, you're probably wondering how exactly you add your own image or animation. Over here, I have a GIF that I like to use in the game. And of course, as you can see, it's already on imager.com. All we need to do is simply find it and then go ahead and copy image address. When you copy an address, it should look something like this. The website, followed by the image, followed by the file type. In this case, it's GIF, which is an animated image. In order to use this in-game, we'd simply use this in place of the other link. So the command we'd use in-game would be something along the lines of LU create, followed by a name, followed by an image size. Now, this is usually where people get a bit confused. What size do you pick? Well, just remember, it's a bunch of squares. This over here would probably be one square, and this would probably be about half a square. Either way, you can tell it's more of a rectangle than a square, so we'll use two by one, meaning two long and one high. So it would run lu create, followed by a name, two by one, followed by the link. Using an image that's already on the internet is simple enough, but what happens if you want to use a file off your PC? Simply head across to an image upload site like imgur.com slash upload, and you see that you need to drag and drop an image in. We'll then find an image we'd like to use and we'll simply drag and drop to upload it. Once it's uploaded, all we have to do is right click on the image and click copy image address. Thinking about what the command will look like, it'll look something like this. We'll paste it in, lu create, followed by the name, the size, and then a link to the image. So I'll go ahead and run this command in game. I'll simply find a suitable place and I'll run the command. lu create, name, size, followed by a link to the image, whether we uploaded it or found it on the internet. After hitting the button, we can lu print, name, and we'll get our maps. I'll simply place two item frames, and because we made it two by one, this is what it looks like. Now, of course, it'll be a bit different for the sizing, and you'll need to play around with it. I'll go ahead and create a one by one of the same image. So, same image, I'll change the name, and I'll make it a one by one. This time, lu print, think two, I'll get a single image, and when I put it down, you'll see it stretched slightly differently. 
Here is the first one for reference. So, as for sizing, that's just something you'll need to play around with. Locate the config in the plugin folder. The plugin works great without any changes to config, but we can do some things in this folder. Images stores cached images that users can see in-game, data.yml stores info on those images, canvases are the maps in-game, and actions store commands when users interact with maps. Config.yml is short and simple. We can change the max range that someone can right-click on a map from, and set the number of seconds between an image and an unloaded chunk being unloaded. Disable or enable animations, and statistics average time is how often the LU stats command refreshes the information that it shows. Leaving this at 100 is fine. Anyways, I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any plugin suggestions, leave them in the comments down below. If you're having issues with anything, contact our support team. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!